Bro Chicas. So today is <laughs> the true day one of the keto restart slash three day egg fast that I'm gonna start. Um, so as you guys saw in the first couple clips, I had a Bulletproof coffee first thing this morning. I actually didn't have any heavy cream. I wanted to have heavy cream in my coffee because I know some people have a little bit of heavy whipping cream in their um, egg fast but I didn't have any so it worked out so I put a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter and a little bit of cinnamon <coughs> and that's all I had in my coffee today I've had like two glasses of water so far I also took some supplements um, magnesium potassium biotin and fish oil just because I haven't taken supple I haven't taken supplements in a week because I was on vacation and also I know I'm gonna be losing um, tons of electrolytes getting back into keto so I want to be smart this time and so I already took those but we're on our way to the grocery store because we have no food in the house and I made a really nice list of keto foods and I'm really excited it's kind of hard to tell how I feel right now because I also have allergies really bad I had allergies for the past like four or five days really really bad and so I feel kind of sick because of that. But I was starting to get a headache. Who knows if it's from the allergies or if it's from, um, I've already like cut carbs since yesterday evening, I wanna say. I feel like yeah, eight o'clock yesterday, 8 p.m. yesterday is when I start, started like cutting the carbs. So that wasn't because I wanted to start the egg fast early or the keto restart early. It was just because like I was truly like sick of eating carbs and like sick of cheating or whatever so we got home at like or we landed at like almost midnight last night and we got home at like 1 30 a.m. but we were so hungry from traveling we went to Whataburger and I just got a double meat with no bun so yeah I was not was not about to have some carbs again was over it but anyways just wanted to catch up with you guys and kind of start this vlog off so I think I'm gonna break it up into three days I'm gonna have today as day one one video day two is another video and day three is another video I'm um, like probably recap in the third one starting off I feel good I feel really motivated I don't think I'm gonna work out today because I feel really sick so we'll have to see when I start working out because I just don't feel good and when I have allergies or I'm sick I don't like to force myself but so far so good I'm not feeling super hungry yet and right now it is 12 noon I have a quick little update for you guys about how I'm feeling oh these look really gross sorry um, so we just finished grocery shopping hubby's filling up the water jugs right now and I feel terrible but like I said, I have allergies too right now, so it's probably a combination of both things. Um, I know it's only the first day, and I always feel great the first day I get back into keto. And I did feel great, but like walking to the truck, I felt like my body was like 100 pounds. I mean, not 100 pounds. <laughs> I felt like I was carrying an extra 100 pounds on top of what I weigh. Um, I feel really sluggish. And I started feeling like almost like tunnel vision. Um, yeah, like I feel really, really shitty right now. Like really, really bad. I definitely am going to eat something as soon as I get home. I wanted to show you guys my grocery haul, but maybe I'll do that a little bit later after I'm feeling better. I did, however, buy one of those bags of pre-made hard-boiled eggs. So for times like these when you just need something really fast so I'm gonna go home and have like two of those as soon as possible because I don't feel good and that's why it's really important to get your electrolytes in guys like even though I took supplements I also bought a Mio Sport so it has like the electrolytes and the B12 vitamins in it and I know that typically on a traditional egg fast that wouldn't be allowed but I am going to have that because I need to make sure that I don't pass out because it's happened before and it's very scary, it's very dangerous. So I'm definitely going to also have some of those um, electrolytes in my water when I get home. 
So I just wanted to update you guys that I feel like crap right now and like, oh my God, it's like getting, it's like so real that it's, you know, you think, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just eating carbs for a week. Nothing's going to happen crazy, but it really does like mess you up when you try to come back to keto. Like it's, it's very taxing on your body. Um, but I just started getting hungry around 1245 and it's 113 right now. So yeah, can't wait to go home. Oh, obviously I wasn't feeling good. So I'm going to do a little voiceover for this. I just have two hard boiled eggs with pink Himalayan salt, uh, pepper and some mayonnaise and my electrolyte drink. And I also had a cheese stick. So this was the second meal I had this day and this is going to be four scrambled eggs and about a tablespoon and a half of butter. And for the last meal that I had this day, it's going to be the eggs and cream cheese pancakes that I always make all the time. You guys see this all the time and I added some pumpkin pie spice in it which has obviously no carbs it's just a spice and then I also have some cinnamon in it baking powder and vanilla extract and I put a little bit of stevia and of course I topped it off with the Walden Farms pancake syrup so I never got to finish the end of this video so I'm filming it on day two but I'm gonna start my new video in a minute but I just wanted to say that day one um, at first went really well in the middle started getting really hard for me I started getting really hungry having cravings and I was frustrated but I was like you know what I like challenging myself and seeing what I'm really capable of and I did it you guys I felt really really proud that I did it but Again, I'm not the most strict person. I'm not gonna be counting my macros or calories. And I'm also not, um, I'm also gonna be letting myself have a little bit of stevia, not too crazy. And also I did put the Walden Farms pancake syrup on my keto uh, cream cheese pancakes, the eggs and cream cheese pancakes. Just because I feel like it's zero everything. I don't think it's that big of a deal, especially when all I'm eating all day is eggs. So the total eggs that I ate for this day was 10 eggs, two for the first meal, four for the second meal, and four for the last meal. And the reason I had so many is because I have a large appetite, you guys, and whatever you have to do to modify something like this so that you know that you can stick to it and you're not starving i think is very important i mean i've watched i've watched vlogs and videos where people have only had six eggs in a day and they weighed way more than i did and i'm like what how are you not starving it's dangerous to starve yourself when you're a woman and that's my opinion um sort of backed up by science because i don't want to get myself into starvation mode because then i'm just going to store fat regardless so i definitely wanted to make sure that i wasn't starving i was a little hungry um but then i uh after my meals like i felt full after i ate but then like an hour later i was already hungry again so what i did was i drank um some tea i bought this this tazo vanilla caramel chai tea it says vanilla caramel but it has all natural flavors like vanilla bean and you know chai spices it doesn't actually have sugar or any carbs in it it's just a tea bag so i drank that and that helped me feel full and i also used my mio electrolyte sport um squirts in my water and that also i drank a lot of water yesterday which also made me feel full so overall I wanted to eat more just because that's like what I've been doing for the past week and it's what I know is to just eat whenever I want to eat but I felt very proud and like very in control with the fact that I know that I just ate 10 eggs with some cream cheese a little bit of mayonnaise and like one stick of cheese like who am I that's pretty cool I think um, I think it's going well I feel like three days will be easy like I feel like I'm totally like down for this like I'm motivated I'm happy I already feel like my bloating has gone down a little bit I'm already starting to feel like back to normal which is great we have a little ways to go but I'm feeling good for the first day stay tuned for the second video day two I'm gonna be showing you guys a weight update 
So stay tuned for that. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. And don't forget to subscri uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with all my ketoness. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.